welcome. My name is Jennifer Fairbanks. I am a public school teacher at Hopkinton High School in Massachusetts, and I'm going to share with you today getting started with Activity Builder. This is not a real PowerPoint here, just a slide holder. So the first thing I want to to clarify is the difference. Um, a lot of you have heard of Desmos.com. Desmos itself is fabulous. It is the graphing calculator side. Um, you could sign in over on the right hand side here. You can see my name, I've, I'm signed in, and you can get started with the graphing calculator. That's not what I'm teaching you today. You can go to learn.desmos.com and you can learn about the calculator, the geometry tools, classroom activities, professional learning and, and new is the distance learning. Today, I'm going to share with you how you can get started with the Desmos Activity Builders. So we wanna be sure we're going to teacher.desmos.com. When we give the students activities, they will be going to student.desmos.com. On the left-hand side, you can see you have your um, most popular, your collections that you will be creating. Custom, if you make your own, history is where you will find the ones that you have saved. Down below, you have bundles. Over on the right-hand side, we have our, our own name and your account information. So let's get started. I'm gonna go on the left and go to most popular. And one of our favorite, meaning my students and myself, is marble slides. So I'm going to click on this and I wanna see if it's going to be right for my class. So you can see um, here we have the title. It is in fact created by Desmos. So everything up here is created by Desmos and then there are Desmos fellows um, and other people that create some Desmos activities. I wanna go down and see if this looks like it might be the right thing for my students. You can see all of the, the slides right here. A better way to view them is to go to student preview and you can see exactly what the student is going to see. So for marble slides, the first screen is usually just hitting the launch button to just to see what's going to happen. And the goal of this is to get the purple ball to go through the yellow stars. It's going to have the next slide and it's going to bring you through. You will have um, the teacher moves down at the bottom, which I, you can normally close, but my face is blocking it. You can have some sample responses. So it gives you as a teacher what it, it suggests you should be doing on each screen. So you can use that as you would like. It shows the kids how to reset if they've tried too many times. And then you can go through and see if this is going to be what you would like to use. Another spot to look is the teacher guide. So the teacher guide is a PDF that has everything that we just saw in a printable version. You can write down your learning targets. It's got all of the slides. And then it has all of the slides separately so you can make notes on what you wanna pay attention to and call out to the students. So um, you could print that out and have that as your guide as you're doing the lesson. So back to marble slides. Um, we've done the teacher guide. I've decided that this is what I want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a class code. So you would hit here. I just created this earlier today. So here's my class code. That's what I would be giving to the students. Once I make that, and now I've gone and looked elsewhere in Desmos, sometimes it's a little hard to figure out how to get back to this. Like I don't wanna lose this. And that's where you're gonna go to your history. So if I go to my history on my left, I can see the marble slides right here. I don't have any students. I can see when I've assigned it. You can see I have a very long history. So it keeps everything in your history. Um, so you can go back and look at it. So back to marble slides. And this is what you would be giving the students. So you would be asking the students to go to student.desmos.com. They would type in the, the class code um, capital letters doesn't matter. If you're online, you could copy this right into your learning um, management system. And then this is what you're going to see for the teacher dashboard, which I'm going to save for another video. So I want to come back to the marble slides and just do a couple more things. If you look over in the right hand side next to teacher guide, there is the plus. So if I click on that, you can create your own collection. So I teach algebra two. So I have a trig folder. Um, you can make your own collection, save it in there according to your subject or whatever you would like to do. And then if you would like to share it with another teacher, you can copy, hit this button and you can grab the link. Or if you are daring, I wouldn't suggest changing marble slides, but if you'd like to copy it and edit and make it yourself, add in your own vocabulary, delete slides, that's where you would go to copy and edit. So 
That will get you started with Desmos. The best way to do is just to go in and um, play around with it. I hope that helped. Thank you. Have a good day.